Plasmic allows you to use dynamic values to render content in your project. To demonstrate this, we will need some data to play with, so I'll bring in our REST API data fetcher component. By default, it queries the GitHub API, as we can see here, but let's replace this endpoint to fetch dummy products instead. When the data is fetched, it is made available for us to use in Plasmic as my variable. So let's actually rename this to something more appropriate. Let's say my products. The data fetcher is a container that makes the fetched data available to everything inside of it. So whatever we add inside this fetcher will have access to the data we fetch from the API. Next, let's make elements repeat with dynamic values. For instance, if we want to display the titles of all the products in our data, we can do that by adding a text element inside the data fetcher and then setting it to repeat according to our product. So let's do that. Uh, inside this data fetcher, we can add a text element. And here we can set this element to repeat according to the product collection that is available in our data. So if I select my products and set it to the product, uh, which is these 10 items and save, it will repeat according to that data. So now we can actually set the text to a dynamic value that is the product title. Notice up here that the name of the repeated item is called current item. So that's what we can access here. If I right click here and select to use dynamic values, I can get access to current item. And from there, I can set the product title. So if I save this, we see that the product title is showing up exactly as expected. So let me just resize uh, the data fetcher a little bit. And actually, let's make this into a grid so that it's easier on the eye. Of four. You can also set a dynamic value on an image element just the same way we did for the text element. But before we do that, I'd like to wrap this into a container. That is a vertical stack. And then inside of this stack, I want to add an image element for all the product images. And to set the value, all we need to do is come up here, use the dynamic value, go to the current items and set this to the product thumbnail, which is this one and save that. And then we should see all our product images showing up as expected. The next thing I want to show you is how to control the visibility of the elements in your project with dynamic values. For instance, if we wanted to show only the products that are smartphones and then hide everything else, we can do that by setting the visibility of the product to use dynamic values. So if I select uh, the vertical stack here and for the visibility, I want to use dynamic values. If I select the current items and go down to the category, oh, and this gives me the opportunity to show you that you can directly manipulate the dynamic data with JavaScript in Plasmic. Here, we can switch to code and simply add an expression to display only smartphones. So if I switch to code and set current item dot category to be strictly equal to smartphones. Then when I save this, we see only smartphones uh, being displayed and everything else is now hidden. The last thing I want to show you is how to set dynamic values on your elements, attributes and props like link destinations or custom component props. For instance, we can dynamically set all the alt attributes of our image elements to be equal to the product description. And to do that, let me just select this image and scroll down to the alt attribute and we can set the value using dynamic values and we can set it to the product description. And if we save this, we should now see the product description showing up for the alt values as we switch around the images. This is the quick tip I have for you on how to use dynamic values on Plasmic. We'll have more advanced videos diving into this in more detail. Thank you.